Alright, you play a lot of Smash? I play a decent bit. Alright, alright, bet, bet, bet. Um, who do you play? I play Isabel. Isabel? That's yeah. not a common character at all. No. I'm actually thinking about joining one of these one of these days. Oh, absolutely! Switch, you know. But alright, what do we got? Ices versus Pikachu? Yeah, so, um, Pikachu are rather slippery character. I feel like a lot of Ices combos, um, start from, uh, so the, the, the decent method is you do an up air into, um, landing, and then you can do whatever you want. So, uh, it's kind of nice that their openers normally grab, which hits low profile characters like Pikachu, but that upper is gonna whiff every single time if they try to go for that yeah. setup, so that's a little bit difficult for Ices. But, apart from that, I feel, oh, That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. <laughs> they try to recover, and then he said, nah, nah. <laughs> I see to be doing that sometimes. Yeah, if you don't have Nana, then it's over. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, um, good, uh, getting that quick attack. Quick attack can be kind of, like, difficult to get used to if you haven't played a lot of Pikachu. It's it's more, like, unsafe than you think it is, but also it isn't. It's, it's kind of hard. Because they can just kind of go so far that you can't punish them, even though it is minus. So, that's a little bit difficult, yeah, but... True. Yeah, that's Okay. I feel like Swaggy has, um won a lot of these neutral situations, but uh, Scoutblade obviously got that, that, that early game with that yeah. T-Jolt, and uh, yeah, oh, Pikachu can really get going at low percent. Little known fact, he's, uh, he's my favorite from high school. Really? I've, I've been playing against him a little bit. I know I know the matchup. You do the, what do you, what do you play? Uh, Isabel, remember? Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. I'm, I'm, so. I'm on like three hours of sleep. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Don't worry good. about it. Um, but no, yeah, he he plays his combo game. Oh, okay, strong. good choice. Wow, okay. He's good at punishing off stage for sure. Neutral's pretty good. I mean, I feel like I beat him in neutral half the time, but, you know, my advantage isn't as strong. Uh -huh. But, nah, he's, he's, he's good. He's solid. He's solid. But yeah, we actually have a lot of Ice Climbers players these days. Yeah, um, there's another one. Uh, Fallen Sky is our big one. Yeah, he's really, really good. Okay, really huge getting out of Nana. So how, how do you think he does on, like, solo Popo right now? Sopo? Okay, I always stress out against Sopo and end up giving him a lot. <laughs> um... Yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's just because I play too aggressive against a Sopo, but he plays very defensive on Sopo. That's sure. good. Yeah. Um, but does look for punishes when they're at like high percent, just because you know high risk low reward sort of thing. That's fair. I feel like Sopo uh, obviously really struggles with getting combo damage. So I think 37% yeah. of this is gonna be a little bit rough for Sopo. It's not too bad if Nana dies and your opponent's at like 140, because right. you, you should get like a, you should play neutral if you're like back here like yeah. smash or something and you're good. Ooh. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah, Dash Attack's just gonna take it over there, and um, Sopo might run away with this one. That early game, I think, uh, was that, really bad for that momentum. SD early game hurts. Yeah, because now uh, I feel like Scalpy's pretty like comfortable just using T Joe back ears and like to just kind of keep it out because he knows that it's kind of on Swaggy's job to go to him because I mean he's obviously like down stock, right? Right, exactly. He needs to pick up some steam here, but I mean Scalpy keeps getting some good combos. There's a good string earlier. Yeah, yeah. quick commentary. Yeah. Just yell random shit every once in a while, like buzzwords, and it kind of gets hey. the audience going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Forward smash! He's crazy! Yo! Oh okay, my okay. god. Banana punish? God isn't real. What? That's crazy. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 114. This is really bad for us. So this, oh this is kind of like the danger zone because you, if you get grab, you can get up thrown, and if you get dash attack, you can get dash attack. Mm. Right? So, um... So right now, there's always the mix of like where, when... Oh, he's just gonna take him with a forward smash with a great roll raid. Um, yeah, good on scout play. Kept a calm mind, I think, even versus a Sopo. Was able to just recognize that T-Joel in the back was all he needed to do against Sopo. Kind of ran away with that one. Yeah. And, yeah, I think it was really good keeping Nana busy while Popo was out there. Yeah, for sure. After the first stock, he just kept the steam going. He did. <laughs> yeah, those are two Icy's players. They play a lot okay. with Max. So, I mean, Scalplane has a ton, ton of uh, Icy's experience, which is unfortunate for Swags. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> he hasn't... I mean, he's entered a few tournaments, but mostly just NIU stuff, so I think this is, is like a, new for a bigger him. tournament. Yeah. yeah, this is 60 people today, I think? Somewhere around there. I'll yeah. Look at the bracket. Yeah, so I think the players, he's going to have to adapt. And I'm sure at his local scene, there's not as many Icy's players, but here there's a lot to be yeah. learned for the matchup, so he's going to have to adapt real quick. Yeah, and I think Pikachu can also be a difficult character to play against, especially with someone who doesn't have really easy, like, sword hits. Because uh, Pikachu low profiles on so many moves that you kind of have to st like space your moves really close to the ground. Which means that you don't get a timing yeah, mix-up on when you throw your aerial, which is kind of big for Ice Climbers. Yeah. I mean, it looks like games start off pretty easy. Pretty er oh God, even. Pretty even, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty easy. Speak, for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. Okay, yeah, that is pretty bad. Yeah, I feel like um, Scout's been getting away with a lot of hits at ledge, just because I think Swags yeah. doesn't have especially a lot of um, 
ledge mix up, and Pikachu has a lot of hitboxes they can throw out, and backer covers so much. I think another really big thing about this matchup is that Icy's out of shield is really not that good. No, you don't really have that many options. Ooh, got the drag down over there. Oh Unfortunately, wasn't able to send Popo off while Nana was a little bit busy. This is going to be pretty bad again. We're talking about that grab up throw range, and at 52%, yeah. this isn't even good for Sopo. So he really needs to close up some damage more than taking the stock right now. Uh, one more one more split up with Popo and Nana, and it's, it's not going to be too good for Swaggy. Here. Not at all. Ooh, okay. one of them dies over here, and this is going to be really low yeah, for Swaggy. Okay, he can come back, though. Yeah. Uh, Scout played, uh, not punishing the one recovery angle, I yeah. think. Uh, maybe expecting the air dodge? Yeah, probably the air dodge. Okay, okay is gonna take it over here, yeah. Alright. Ah, what does Swaggy do to adapt over here? I feel like the T-Jolt is really good at making sure that the movement options are limited, so it's really hard to get in your D6 over here. You're gonna see Swaggy go for a lot of like these uppers on this plat, or like these... Oh, that was really go. good. There so go. good. And just like that, it's even. Yeah. Yeah, that is the dichotomy of Ices. I mean, yeah, that's what Ices does. They get, they get one good they get one good freeze off, and that's, that's a nice 20-30%. That's an Ices. Okay, D6. Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't get that one. Free 33%, sorry, 38%, not too bad. Yeah. What's going through Swaggy's head right now? That's not good. What does Swaggy want? What does he want? He wants to not get, he wants to not get uh, separated, Popo and Nana, for sure. Oh, okay, good decent up smash, good awareness. Oh, really oh good back throw yeah, invincibility. Really is he gonna go after Nana or Popo right now? Okay, recognize it. Yeah, because he knows Popo has to go defend Nana, so he's just swinging at Popo right now. Yeah. Alright, how long can he keep them separated? They've been apart for so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they're reunited. Oh my god. So happy. I've never seen my grandma before. It's like a, oh, Ooh. shit. Are they brother and sister? You know, because her name's know. Nana. I've always just assumed it's like Popo's granddad, but like, looking at them now, there's no way that's his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was his grandma. And their name's Nana, bro. Uh, they, they probably siblings, yeah. We'll, we'll call them siblings. We'll call yeah, them it's like Parent Trap. You know, it's the family bonding that they're going on right now. No, I was supposed to say, it's Parent Trap. <laughs> they were desynced for a while, now they're together. Oh! Uh-oh. Disconnect your pro controller! God damn it. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're going to time. Um... Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. Who was on stream last? So what happens now? Um, I'm not sure what the protocol is, because neither of them did it. Normally, if it's your fault, you, um... It's all good. Ice him out! Ice him out! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can now think about what. Uh, uh, what you can do? Yeah. Can do in the situation. I guess what this, this is a good time for some coaching. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I think Swaggy Medic was at he was at two stocks like seventy percent, right? Yeah. And he just took a stock off Pikachu. Yes, I think it was Scout two to one, and Scout's at like sixty, seventy, yeah. something like that. Oh, never oh, mind. There sorry. We go. Oh yeah, Scout's down right now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Not too bad. So, I mean, all Scout needs here, a few, I mean, get, get Popo and Nana desynced one time, punish Nana off stage, and then Sopo, he's at low percent, mm -hmm. can probably get a lot of punish off there. Yeah, um, he could, he can't have a kill right now, but, you know, he's gonna have yeah. two opportunities to, like, desync, because, like, I mean, even if Nana gets taken right now, he's fine, right? Right, right. But, I mean... Better sooner than later to take him out, I guess. You know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. What would you do? I feel like I would play it slow right now if I were him. I'm not trying to get this kill right now. Yeah. Slow. I'd be, I'd be scared right now. I'd be quaking. I'd be quaking because like. Go! All right. Starts yeah. off. All right. Icy's, Icy's just needs a few good punishes here and like they can take the game. Oh game. shit! This is that's huge. huge. Yeah. Is he gonna get the back air right now? Ooh, unfortunately, going for a lot of those forward smashes. I think he's expecting yeah. Icy's to want to recover low, but yeah. I, he hasn't really. Pre like, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just saying, Swaggy Medic likes to recover with the side B on the stage a lot, and that usually gets past Scout Blade's forward smash on, on the edge, so... Well done by him, but it looks like there goes Nana. Oh, yeah, really well played on Scout Blade's part. I feel like yeah. that could have been really rough if we let him get a lot of extra mileage on that stock. 37%, I mean... Right, Scout Blade's really good at just, like, dealing with Nana and Popo individually. And, it, I mean, that paid off here. Yeah, that's why you can see a lot of that matchup experience coming from playing Fallen Sky and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I think the problem is, I feel he's like barely been outspaced by uh, Swaggy, so he probably. Ooh, whiff grab! The dash back forward smash takes yeah. the stock. Yeah, works every time. Okay, uh, he's been, he's, he's been looking stock. for that forward smash that whole game, dude. 
Yeah, I feel like Swaggy's been pretty good about spacing away from Pikachu. Um, a lot of the moves can be kind of tricky to get away from, but he's making sure that they're, he's in good positions not to get hit by a lot of them. But that grab back throw is really good because the invincibility lasts a lot. Yeah, and it also splits them away from each other really well. Yeah, true. Unfortunately, Swaggy forced to go to ledge to get away from there, but he managed to regain that ledge situation really well off that whiff grab. <laughs> yeah, and he's getting a lot of mileage here. A lot of percent, 60% lead. I can do math, yep. <laughs> Yeah, oh, this is. Oh, this is bad. If he, if Scalpit gets hit by up tilt right now, it might be oh, over. <gasps> oh, really good mash. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Scalpit has one more chance. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> Skull bash is onto there. Is he's not gonna go for the back here. Goes for the dash. I feel like he's, he's looking. He should, he should be looking for damage right there's now. Split, there's split. Oh, maybe he's looking to get a split kill rather than. Uh, yeah, I could see that for sure. Okay. Well, okay, he's got them off stage. Expecting the. Oh, great oh, thunder oh, over oh, here. Huge. Wait. Wait, this could be anyone's game. Hey, he's right back in the game with that let's thunder. Let's see, let's see. That was absolutely stunning. Also, Swaggy Medic needs this one forward smash, back air, forward air, that takes it. Oh, but Pikachu for the strings. Ah, this is kind of like that situation where it's like, you you need one good hit or a bunch of really easy hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, Scalpy's playing really well here, playing really safe. One of safe options off stage. Oh, looks for that forward smash again, barely going over. Oh, this is so scrambly right now. Everyone's gathered around the back. Oh, this is so neck to neck. Oh, oh that forward tilt barrier not taking a good DI. It's What's the ledge trap over here? This could be really bad for Scout Blade if uh, Swaggy makes one good read. Oh, oh, oh barely getting through the way to get up attack. Retreating to that ledge a lot. Scout Blade. Oh. Okay. Oh, up smash with. Is it Thunder coming out? No, opting no. not to go for the kill right now. The forward tilt, the back air. What's, what's it gonna be? This is the last day game. Oh, oh okay. Throw. It's off stage. Is he gonna, is he gonna get the high recovery finally? Is he going for forward smash? Oh, he got the high recovery. He's done it. Oh. Good wow. games, good games. Swaggy Medic probably expected another force smash there, but yeah. switched it up. Maybe he was saving there. that read for the end. You never yeah. know, man. <laughs> yeah, that was good shit. Good shit, wow. Scout Blade. Right. Good adaptation on that last talk. Almost had a great play from Swaggy, too. That was close. Yeah, I think that's his first game on stream. He did super well. Yeah. Um, taking Scout Blade the last stock, and um, yeah, you know, a lot of clutch things, though. Really yeah. good, like, downers, yeah, sorry, down Bs, you know, getting a lot of desyncs on there. Good forward smashes. Great neutral as well. Uh, we got another uh, yeah. Ices on our hands that for sure. That was an intense comeback, for sure. That was.